I had this idea a long time ago to make hunting as challenging as I could because I believed that the greater the challenge, the greater the reward would be. And recently I decided to start sharing this with some of you guys because I knew that I was not the only one seeking this challenge and it has been really fun so far. And some of you guys have actually started making your own bows. I've heard feedback from a couple different people and I want to share one of those people with you today and he has become a good friend of mine. His name is Hunter and he just made a beast of a bow, 70 inches from tip to dip. It's his very first Osage bow, 70 pound raw weight at 28 inches. Here's a couple clips of him shooting the bow. Great job, Hunter, that is so cool. And you can see by the expressions on his face how fun it is to make your very first bow. For real, man, really good job. It's really cool to see you make your first bow. It took me three bows before I made one that I even shot. I broke them all on the tilling board. So good job and your bows are gonna be awesome in the future. All right, guys, so now it's time to put your thinking caps on because we don't got much time today, so I gotta kinda speed through this. So let's roll that intro. Today we're talking about 10 bow making backings that actually work. And I'm gonna split these into three different categories, soft material, hard material, and orga organic material, because you're gonna use these different kinds of backings in different situations. And if you can categorize them to three different categories, then you can use them in these three different situations. So the first materials we're gonna cover is soft materials. Now soft materials include linen, silk, fiberglass, tape, canvas, paper, snakeskin, fish skin. I could go on for a long time because you could almost use anything as a soft material. Now they're used for two different things. One reason people will put a soft material on the back of the bow is for design. They'll put snakeskin or fish skin, or they'll even put like a thick piece of paper on the back of the bow so that they can draw on it or whatever, so that they can choose the design they want. The second reason is for extra insurance. This is the way I like to think of soft material. It is for insurance. If your bow is has one growth ring, but you think it might be a weak growth ring or it might be not an ideal kind of wood, you can throw a soft material on it just for extra insurance so that you can be sure that your bow will not break. But if you put the soft material when you actually cut through an actual growth ring or something, as you know on my last bow, it did not work. And so I would only use soft material as extra insurance or as art on the back of the bow. The second kind of material we're gonna cover is hard material, and this includes bamboo strips, fiberglass strips, and hickory strips. It does not matter how the back of your bow is right now if you're gonna put one of these three hard materials on the back of your bow because it's gonna create a completely new back of the bow. Quickly to talk about these three materials, first the bamboo strip. A bamboo strip is gonna be your very best bow backing material for a wood or a plant-based material that grows out of the ground. It is super good under the elastic stretch that it needs to handle on the back of a bow. And then the second one you're gonna have is fiberglass strips. Now this is not a natural material, but it is actually a super, super, super good material. And this is why all the mass-produced bows are generally backed with fiberglass. Now the third one's gonna be hickory strips. Hickory strips does the same thing as the bamboo strips, and it's gonna be specifically through that single growth ring. And and this can work good as the back of a bow. Now we're gonna talk about organic material, and inside the organic material, we've got two things. The first one is sinew, and secondly, we got rawhide. This is more like the hard materials. It is gonna add a whole nother layer on the back of the bow, and it's gonna add some mass. And sinew is like the magic of all magic bow making. It is so stinking good under the elastic stress, the, the tension that it takes to be on the back of the bow. Now it is absolutely terrible under compression. So if you put it on the belly of the bow, you're gonna have a failed bow. Like it's just not gonna work. Like think about pushing that to get, no. Hey, let me show you. Here, see this one strand of sinew right here? Now. Dang. Yeah, you can't break it. I've heard pound for pound it's actually stronger than steel. But if you put it on the belly of the bow, <laughs> see it would do nothing. So this stuff is super good and elastic. It can stretch and it's for the back of the bow but not for the belly of the bow. This stuff is magical. Just go get yourself some sinew. But you have another option which is raw hide, which is just the hide of an animal and you can glue this to your back of the bow and it actually 
It's pretty good. I do not have much experience with it and I'm gonna get more experience with it, but everybody I've talked to, everything I've read about it, all the videos I've watched on it, people are like two thumbs up for Rawhide. And so it does the same sort of thing as the sinew will do. It's not gonna be as good, so you wouldn't put it like on a horn bow that's extremely uh, curved. Sinew is actually better when it's under stress, so it would even work better on a recurve bow than it would on just a long bow for you. So to recap real quick, we've got soft material. This is gonna be extra insurance. It's gonna add a little bit of strength, but not a lot. You don't want to put this on a bow that's been violated through a growth ring. You're only gonna wanna do this for a little extra insurance on the woods that aren't great under the elastic tension stress. You can also put this on, like I mentioned, the snake skin or the fish skin or paper or whatever it is to create the design you want and that can look really cool. The second one's gonna be hard material. This is normally gonna be laminated on the back of the bow. It's gonna be fiberglass, bamboo, or different kinds of wood strips. And this is actually gonna be adding mass to the back of the bow and it's gonna be a big portion of your bow and it is the complete backing in itself. It's gonna add a lot of strength to your bow and it's gonna be a solid backing for you. And the third one's gonna be organic materials which would be rawhide or sinew. Now these are very fun, very easy to use, and you can use these the same way you would hard materials and put it over the back of basically anything and you're gonna have a solid bow. So that's the three different kinds of bow backings and that's when you should use them. And on that note, that's gonna be it today. It has been a blast to have you here. Oh, one second, there's a plane. It's been a blast to have you here and I want to leave you with a quote today by Mayo Angelo. She said that people will forget what you say, they will forget what you do, but they will never forget how you make them feel. Go live a worthy life today. Thanks for joining me.